Right, so before we head out on this big filming trip of season 11, I'm bringing the, uh, the trucks in, the 200 and the 79. I'm bringing them into Just Autos here, and I need Matt to sort of go over them and check them out. Uh, basically run them through the dyno, make sure everything is sitting good, but we're also going to replace the turbo, and we're going to put a new turbo in this truck because we want to do a bit of an upgrade. I know it goes really hard now, but wait and see what happens with the new turbo. Uh, on the 79 series, we're changing the turbo to the next gen, uh, which is basically G-Turbo's new version of the G350. So we wanted to ensure that we can get that turbo on the truck ready for what it needs to do. VNT, there she is. Have a look at that. So as the throttle gets open, so do the vanes on the turbo. It's only slight adjustments, but it's that adjustment in there that makes for a turbo that can have bottom end bottom end torque and bottom end horsepower and then bring it right through the torque curve and through the um, uh, the rev range because a normal gated turbo it just doesn't have that. From so this is, this is what you're looking at stock in a 79. That's actually bigger than a stock one. A stock one's slightly smaller but oh, the same okay. sort of design as yeah. that. We're finding that that was um, can be cause of a lot of dramas yeah. but basically uh, Graham opted to go down this route because yeah. it's a far better design. It, it works better um, and now this design is going through a lot of their range and it's it's, it's yeah definitely next level. It's working yeah. really, really well. So we're, we're super stoked to be a part and, and um, yeah. you know be trialing these because there's nothing more than I want for my customers is have that reliability and just just that yeah. you know just a turbo that works. Oh, look. And I'm just I'm stoked to have it. You know, having having heaps of horsepower has got to come with reliability. With advancements in technology all the time, they're building and upgrading things. So I'm I'm keen to see how good this turbo is going to go. So what he's done is, he's dialed up the boost pressure on the turbo. Now, that leans it out, and all we gotta do now is add fuel, and the, he said the horsepower will just go through the roof. The turbo itself, uh, the next gen, it produces way more bottom end than the previous version, as well as maintaining and even making more top end power. Um, it's unlikely when you get a turbo to do two boxes and it ticks both of them, uh, but this one definitely does. This is a thousand newton meters of torque, right there. At the moment with 37 inch tyres, the horsepower won't be up there because you've got to try and push that on the dyno. So if we put street tyres on this truck, the horsepower goes through the ceiling. So as soon as you put tyres on, it kills your horsepower. But the next gen turbo, what Matt is saying is at low RPM, right through the rev range, he's able to get torque and horsepower and that's what you want. You're pushing big tyres or even 35s and you're in the bush, at that low RPM, especially in low range, you want to be able to just hit the gas and the thing just erupts. And then towing, that's where you want it as well. You're cruising down the highway, you've got low RPM, you're not burning a lot of fuel and then you go to take over, you knock back a gear and the thing just basically lights up and you overtake like you're not even towing anything. Uh, the 200, it's gonna need a tweak up as well. Now the 200 is actually quite stock standard compared to the 79. Like there's no turbo upgrades or anything like that. It's purely and simply Matt's um, remap. He puts that, puts that remap in. Now what we're gonna do today is whack it on the dyno and he's just gonna tweak it even more. He's got a few extra little tricks, so to speak, up his sleeve and that comes from years of experience. As we evolve, we find new ways and new techniques yeah. to sort of basically fine tune and get the, you know, maximise power out of this car. So um, I'm going to put it back on today and, and do a couple of those changes and so forth. And um, yeah, you should see a, a vast improvement and it'll be good. So little bits and pieces um, from basically just the remap exhaust and lockup that we usually fit. And that maximises maximum power and reliability. So basically, last time we went there, 196 horsepower. Yep. Uh, we're now 205, so, you know, small improvement. How's but, our um, torque as yep. well? So basically, we've got a, a good amount more torque. Um, yep. You know, it's definitely going to be a lot better. Like I said, as we evolve, we find little things and um, we implement them in our own cars. Yeah. And um, this is, it's just a little bit of an improvement from where we were, but yeah, it's going in the right direction. Well, and that, that's like, sure what, um, what is that, like probably 5% gain just there? 100%, just there. yeah. Straight yeah. up. So it's, yeah. it's, you know, it's basically on the way forward, so. There's no doubt about it. 
every time I leave for a trip and I'm using vehicles that I've done a few seasons with, I do sort of, I, I do want to make sure that they are tip top and that they're, they're, they're running at the best they could run because I am going to be putting them through their paces.